Google CEO Sundar Pichai has high hopes for AI, so much so that he said this. You know, AI is one of the most important things humanity is working on. It's more profound than, I don't know, electricity or fire. Okay, if that's true, what does that mean for you and me? Yes, artificial intelligence could potentially have an impact comparable to fire. Imagine this. Any computational or knowledge-based work could, at least in part, be assumed by AI. Just to name a few, pharmacy, healthcare diagnosis, law, even parts of programming, all those jobs that have been traditionally high paying and sought after will change. Now that does not necessarily mean that 30 years from now we won't need human doctors or lawyers or pharmacists. It just means that to be successful in those professions, we're going to need to be more than just dispensers of knowledge. You'll be expected to excel at aspects of the work that AI does not do well like understanding human beings, like coming up with creative solutions to problems that couldn't otherwise be solved by common practice or repetitive tasks. Imagine if we're able to eliminate almost all human error from anything that needs a human operator. Cars, trains, airplanes, cranes, forklifts, you name it. It not only makes it hugely more efficient, but is far safer. Heads up for anyone who's aspiring to become a truck driver. 20 years from now, your career options are not looking good. Get this, nearly 1.3 million people die in road crashes each year. Just imagine the lives saved by AI from road crashes alone. Now let's talk about another fear, and this will happen eventually. Something AI powered will kill an innocent human being. Hasta la vista, baby. And no, I'm not talking about some James Cameron inspired dystopia. I'm talking about how AI will make ethical choices. So for example, if I'm sitting in my driverless car and all of a sudden a dog jumps out and the AI swerves to dodge the dog, but loses control. And now we only have two choices, drive off the cliff where the passenger is most certainly gonna die or hits a small child. Now a human driver is as a parent is probably going to take his chances over the cliff and not kill an innocent child. But would the AI make the same calculation? If so, who programs those ethics into the AI? And if it fails and does kill an innocent child, who is responsible? The programmer, the manufacturer, or the board or government body that writes those ethics? Which comes to the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest problem when it comes to AI. Currently, there is no world governing body that is recognized to establish a code of ethics and enforce those code of ethics. Here in Canada, we could have such a body, but someone off in another country could completely disregard all those regulations and out of greed and need for recognition, establish an AI program that has no boundaries or safeguards whatsoever. You know what it is? It's like a new 16 year old who just got their license. Technically and legally, they can drive, but are they fully responsible enough to deal with everything? No, that's why we put boundaries and restrictions on them until they can show us that they're responsible enough to deal with 3,000 pounds of hunk of metal down the highway. As a humanity, are we responsible enough to deal with all the implications of AI? Hell no! Now, although this does concern me, we should remember that AI's capability is not gonna explode exponentially overnight, right? I mean, my Pixel 2 is learning, right? It is learning my habits and trying to adapt to my needs, but it's not maliciously controlling my life, at least not yet. AI's capability is going to increase gradually. That should give us some comfort. We do have some time to decide on a code of ethics. I just hope humanity's maturity rises to the occasion uh, when needed. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitter. Now, if you wanna get serious about branding yourself online, our sponsor, Domain.com, has over 300 domain name extensions to fit your needs, from .com to .club to .space. And the guys with Domain.com love the Android Authority audience so much, they're showing their love by giving you 15% off an already really good price. For domain names, web hosting, or email, use our coupon code, Android, at Domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think Domain.com. Bye.